Okay. Now, um, as uh, Paul had mentioned, uh, Paul and Tompkins can't be with us if you don't kiss. <laughs> now, I had mentioned in the Q&A, jokingly, that he was actually my pet peeve, which was why I took the cruise so that I knew I wouldn't come across my pet peeve. That is completely false. I believe that Paul F. Tompkins is an absolutely brilliant comedian, and the impressive thing about the man is that he's funny all the time. He kind of never really turns that off, uh, like most of the brilliant comedians that I've come across in my life. So I would like to finish off uh, before we send you off on intermission to give you a notification that that's about to occur. I'd like to tell you a story about Paul F. Tompkins. How does that sound? Right. In, the, in the style of Paul F. Tompkins. I had a wig, but it didn't arrive in time. Take this off, slowly and painfully in front of you, and embarrassingly. Okay. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> Paul attended and performed at Woodstock Dallas, right? <laughs> uh, and that was an amazing show. He was absolutely brilliant. He was really, really funny. He told a lot of great stories. And it was a real honor to get to present to him, to present with him. Uh, one of the things that I thought was really funny about that was that I got to drive Paul home. So, as I'm driving Paul home, he's telling me all of these different things, and I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to be as funny as I can because he's He's obviously bringing the A-game, and he's like, done. He's off, he's tired even, and he's making, just cracking me up. So as we're driving around, he suddenly says, well, tell me a little bit about Dallas. I, I don't spend a lot of time in Dallas. And I start giving him a tour of the city as we're driving back to the airport. And we pass a bunch of different stores, but the one that stuck out in my mind was a little store called Condoms to Go. <laughs> Which I pointed out to Paul is Dallas's local drive through condom place. And Paul thought for a minute. And then he's like, he's like, he's like, well, that's gotta be awkward. And I said, oh, uh, why? And he goes, well, what happens when the place gets busy? And the line backs up. What kind of small talk are you gonna make with the hooker in the car? I thought, okay. He's right. But what'd you say? Grew up around here? No. See, see, the, see the game last night? Oh, you did the quarterback after. Oh. Is he nice? Because he seems like he'd be a nice, a nice guy. No? Hmm. I'm, I'm usually much more prepared. I didn't expect it was going to be this busy. <laughs> Come on, buddy, when you buy the family pack up there. And you get to the front, and Paul was like, and then you get to the front, and you're like, now you got the pressure of the line behind you. And you're looking at the menu, and you're going to forget what you normally get, because now you've got the pressure of having to order in a hurry. Uh, one regular. No, two. Two regulars. Hey, they brought the rib ones back for a limited time. Do those work? No. Okay. Uh, I'll take uh, two regulars and a rib. No, 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 I don't need to supersize it. Would you like anything? Because I mean... The lady will have the family pack. <laughs> and that was like his, his whole thing. So that's my, my, my brief Paul Tom, Paul F. Tompkins story. Because that guy just rattled that, that off like out of just out of the blue completely. <laughs> so that's it. So that leads us to intermission, which I have to understand is 10 minutes. And I'm getting like black here. Liz. Damn it, Liz! Damn it, Liz! I'm giving you ten minutes. <laughs> Executive decision. Yes? Yes! Yes! <laughs> it is now time for intermission. You have ten minutes. Please be punctual. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stephen Liz. I really appreciate it.